and uh, even his disciples about what they are to be about. Not to just be shepherds, but to be good shepherds. Not to take advantage of the flock, but to defend the flock, even at the point of death. We see this um, throughout, the, throughout the century, throughout the years. And in the 20th century, we have uh, Bishop Romilo, uh, uh, who, who is there in South America, who was actually shot and killed by his offering of the demands. We know that there are others, other priests, other bishops, who have also had to give up their lives. For the, for the flock. Remember the story of Saint, um, the Saint, what's the name old, the name old, uh, uh, Saint, uh, of uh, Saint uh, uh, Maximilian Bobe. He's a Franciscan um, priest who was around World War II. And it was someone that in his group that was chosen to be murdered by the, by the Hitler's guards. And he said that because someone had escaped, someone will have to die. And so they went around and they said, okay, you, you're going to die. The man cried so much and he said, no, I have a wife and children, you know, please do not take my life. And so that's where the Saint Maximilian Kobe, he stood up and said, I will, I will go before, before him. Now, obviously, that was very heroic, but he understood that his life was to be of service to the sheep. And so, sure enough, he was put in a solitary cell. He was, you know, he must have starved to death, but he didn't die because he, maybe he used the last thing. And so when they saw that he was not dead as of yet, in fact, those who were with him in that, in that cell, he taught them how to pray to the Immaculata, to sing songs, to say the Holy Rosary. And so that's what he did in that cell. And so that only angered even more um, the Hitler's uh, guards. Therefore, they decided to uh, to inject cobalt, cobalt, which is some type of uh, liquid that would, would actually go into his veins you know, and actually kill him. And so he died. And he died because he was a good shepherd. How should we, we're not saying that everyone who becomes a priest has to die for his flock. But yet, when one becomes a priest, it's not for uh, extravagance or to, to say that, oh, how wonderful I am. Not at all. A priest is to be a servant, servant of the people of God, servant of God, so that he can shepherd over his people and lead them into the right mind, into the right way. So having said that, we are always in need because around the world there is a, a deficit or we are having a low uh, vocation, in the sense of vocation crisis. Now, I have to stop there. In our diocese, we seem to be very blessed. Um, but that could end any time. We, are, we have young men who, who go into the seminary and, and so we have a number of seminarians. Uh, I mean, this coming June, uh, we will have seven men who will be, who will be ordained priests. Imagine we had last year seven men who became priests. And before that, I think seven men becoming priests in our small diocese. You know that in the archdiocese of New Orleans, I think they had only one ordination in three or four years. And so we should not boast about it. But we need to pray for more vocations. Yes, we are to pray for more vocations. It was said that when was interviewed, when, when priests were interviewed, how did you hear your calling to be a priest? 
using this one of the three. Either the parish priest encourage them, secondly, or give or use the highest uh, uh, older woman that says, you know, I think you have a quality to be a priest, you think about it better. And then the third one, maybe a, a friend, maybe a, a priest who is not in the parish. But the thing is, is that what will help in regards to having strong and, and faithful priests, the prayers of the people of God. We're all connected. So please remember, without priests, we cannot have the Eucharist. This is very important. Because without priests, we will not be able to have the body and blood, soul and divinity of our blessed Lord on the altar. The blessings that we have, that we receive, um, for the blessing of houses, uh, for the blessing of uh, 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 religious items, this is done because of the power of the priesthood. And so we need to pray that the Lord will you know, provide good shepherds. And it's good that they look and to see. Maybe someone in our body in our custom, in our area that, that has that, those qualities of being a priest. Leadership, love for God, wanting to pray, not being a father of not uh, being a mother of God. But the qualities are a wonderful to lead, to lead uh, Christ's life. In the right, right direction. As we continue this holy mass, let us pray for an increase of priesthood, but not, not just increase of priests, but that we will have good priests, good shepherds, Mahayan and Palanta. And this will only happen if we cultivate that in our own, uh, in our own area. You know, I don't remember how many. Uh, priests have come from Antiquia, but I think there have been many. And I'm hoping that many more will come from this wonderful country. Let us pray for all the nations. In Jesus Christ, we pray. May our Lady pray for us.